the Ludiana Christian Medical College is involved in cutting edge research. The Betty Cowan Research and Innovation Center of the Christian Medical College recently acquired a spectral view hyperspectral imaging system. The system is a product of Applied Spectral Imaging, a company based in Israel, and is capable of performing spectral imaging in ranges from visible to near-infrared wavelength. The newest addition to the Vatican Research and Innovation Center is a hyperspectral imaging system uh, that we've recently acquired uh, in May this year. Now this system actually will help us do a lot of imaging spectrally uh, using the ranges from visible to near infrared. So the range of the system is from 400 nanometers to 1000 nanometers. Among its many potential research applications are fingerprinting blood smears, wound healing, identifying oxygenation of blood vessels in the eye, and identifying microorganisms such as viruses and bacteria. So this is basically we've mapped the color on the tissue showing you exactly where both the spectral profile can be picked up. Now the utilization of this is limitless and currently what we're doing is we are applying it on blood smears and looking, whether, looking at whether we can actually fingerprint those blood cells in a very diseased specific manner compared to healthy cells and see if those profiles are reproducible each time we do it in a different patient blood, uh, patient's blood smear. Funds for the purchase of the imaging system came from the Ratan Tata Trust in the amount of $85,000 given in a two-year Christian Medical College grant to support the Betty Cowan Research and Innovation Center of the Christian Medical College in Ludiana. This is one of three research fundings given in 2009. The applications of hyperspectral imaging can be actually spread out to other applications. For example, we can be doing uh, work on um, wound healing, for example, using the same uh, method. Spectrally profiling oxygenated hemoglobin versus deoxygenated hemoglobin molecules and using that just spectrally to look at how the wound is healing and that's something that people are developing currently around the world. Uh, there may be sooner or later some gadgets already uh, within markets or clinical settings doing this and it's absolutely quantitative um, and absolutely specific. Uh, there are other applications, for example, into the oxygenation of blood vessels in the eye, which people are looking into, and also um, areas such as looking at viruses, uh, looking at pathogens, microorganisms, parasite, bacteria, even within blood smears. So these are just endless ways um, where hyperspectral imaging can be used. In October 2013, the Betty Cowan Research and Innovation Center sponsored the first international symposium and workshop called Spectral Imaging Applications in Basic Science and Biomedical Research with the aim of teaching delegates about the potential of hyperspectral imaging and providing them with hands-on experience. The area which covers visual light spectra, just regular colors is still a region or an, or an area of research which is absolutely untapped. And I think uh, with this system being funded and now being present at Vetico and Research and Innovation Center, I think we can become a center for the country where we can help train people and even help them uh, in collaborative uh, manner to write grants where we can submit and actually tap into the limitless potential of using uh, the hyperspectral imaging system.